Hi there. Let's chat about uh, something that I call everyday geography. 365 reflections on why geography matters. Now in 2011 I was president of the National Council for Geographic Education. This is an organization that's been around since 1915, nearly a century. One of the goals that I had is to write at least one tweet every day on why geography matters or and or what is geography. I posted those each day to my Twitter page starting with January 1st, 1 of 365 and ending with December 31st, 365 of 365. Okay, I confess that I actually posted multiple posts every day, sometimes up to 10. There's just so much on this topic to write about. I also created 12 monthly videos in a series along the same lines. What is geography and why does geography matter? My goals in the Twitter posts and in the videos uh, were several. First, I sought to point out as organization president how the NCGE serves the geography education community and has been doing so since 1915, as I mentioned, nearly a century. Through its webinars, book and journal publications, annual conference, curriculum, research, partnerships, and networking opportunities, the NCGE supports excellence in teaching and learning geography. Second, I wanted to provide evidence of the diversity of geography. Geography is diverse. It's diversity in action. Those outside the geography community might have an incomplete or even an erroneous view of geography as a discipline. And we could go on about misperceptions of geography uh, for days, right? State capitals, capes and bays, imports and exports, memorization, all that sort of thing. But I think more importantly is this notion that many people have that geography is just location, the location of things. So I wanted to nudge people beyond thinking of geography only as the location of things to provide an idea of what geographers study and what they care about, what they're passionate about. I explored themes of scale, patterns, and relationships. Topics such as watersheds, energy, resources, ecoregions, climate, population density, and more. I discussed different regions while on work travel to Austria, New York City, San Diego, San Francisco, Minneapolis, Wyoming, and elsewhere. Geography is diversity in people, landscapes, issues, skills, and themes. Third, I aim to show that geography is a high-tech and rigorous discipline that uses everything from scientific probes that measure soil moisture, weather conditions, or water quality, to surveying equipment, to GPS, to remote sensing imagery, to GIS, and much more. I created numerous videos that demonstrated how GIS can be used for teaching and research. Geography uses quantitative techniques, such as through spatial statistics, as well as qualitative methods. Fourth, I wanted to show that geography is fun. Geography is fun! I included links of videos of me discussing geography while skiing down a ski slope in the middle of a wind farm on a street median in Manhattan, kayaking on the beautiful St. Croix River, touching the KT boundary in Red Rocks Park in Colorado, and in other fascinating places. Fifth, I sought to show that geography is a rich body of content a specific set of skills and abilities, and a way of seeing the world, a spatial perspective. So it's a three-legged stool in my view. It's a rich body of content, it's a specific set of skills and abilities, and it's a rich way of seeing the world, a spatial perspective. Sixth, above everything else, I sought to show that geography matters. Folks, geography matters! As we must grapple with complex global issues that increasingly affect our everyday lives, such as sustainable development, energy, water, natural hazards, political instability, food security. You know, what, what about these issues are not relevant to 21st century life? They're all extremely relevant. That's what geographers study. The study and application of geography, therefore, is more relevant to our world than ever, than ever before. GIS is a fundamental tool that can help us understand and solve problems related to these issues. In fact, geographers were instrumental in developing GIS. Those applying the geographic perspective 
can and are making a positive impact on people and the planet. So it's applied and it's making a difference. I hope my postings, not just last year through this video series and these Twitter posts, but this year as I continue doing them, are helpful to educators and even to the general public. How might you use these postings and your own postings and activities to demonstrate to the wider community that geography matters?